Hello everyone. So today we will study about neonatal asphyxia. So what is asphyxia? So asphyxia is lack of oxygen. Lack of oxygen. What is asphyxia? It is the lack of oxygen and blood flow to the brain. Brain and blood flow to brain and blood flow to to brain. So the lack of the oxygen and blood flow to the brain is neonatal asphyxia in neonatals. So neonatal, neonatal asphyxia is caused by no spontaneous breathing or respiratory depression after the birth. And what is neonatal asphyxia is caused by no spontaneous breathing or respiratory depression after the birth. So the new, uh, asphyxia will lead to the hypoxemia, decrease the concentration of oxygen in the blood, hypercapnia and metabolic acidosis. Neural asphyxia is one of the most important reasons of the neonatal death and disability. What the neonatal asphyxia is one of the most important reasons of the neonatal death and disability. So the essence of neonatal asphyxia is hypoxia. What is the essence of the neonatal asphyxia is hypoxia? Asphyxia is can caused by any factor. Asphyxia can be caused by cosmetology caused any factor that affects the gas exchange of the placenta or lung. So any factor which is causing any obstruction in the gas exchange in the placenta or the lung it will cause asphyxia. So it can occur during the pregnancy but most it occurs after the beginning of the labor. So it can occur during the pregnancy but mostly it occurs at the beginning of the labor. After that intrauterine fetal asphyxia intra inside uterine fetal asphyxia intra uterine fetal asphyxia the early stage of the asphyxia is characterized by the increased fetal movement what the early stage of asphyxia will be characterized by the fetal movement will be increased fetal half rate is exceeding 160 times per minute and the later stage of asphyxia is characterized by the decreased fetal movement fetal rate less than 100 times per minute or meconium contamination of the amniotic fluid so in the early stage of asphyxia will be characterized by number one increased heart movement increased heart movement or increased fetal heart movement greater than 160 per minute number one Number two, increased fetal movement. So in number one is fetal heart rate is greater than 160 per minute. Number two, increase the fetal movement. So and so this is the initial stage and in later later stage in later stage it created by the decreased fetal movement and the heart will rate will be less than 100 times per minute. It is due to maybe due to meconium contamination of the amniotic fluid. Meconium contamination of the amniotic fluid. After that, neonatal asphyxia is. Apgar scoring system is only used to evaluate the severity of the neonatal asphyxia. So, how we will know about the asphyxia that it is severe or not? It will be determined by the Apgar score. This evaluation system evaluates from five aspects as appearance. Number one is pulse appearance a for appearance p for pulse g for grimace a for activity and r for respiratory so these five things will be used to determine the severity of the the severity of the neonatal asphyxia so this is the apgar scoring system so number one is appearance 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 will be zero one or two so appearance means it's sign and pale Number if it's if 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 the child is sun and pale it will be zero. If it is one means the pine has red body and purple limbs. The pine has the red body and purple limbs will be one point, and the whole body is red, red will be two points. After that pulse times per minute. If there is no pulse the score will be zero. If the pulse is less than one hundred score will be the one. If the pulse is greater than one hundred a score will be 2. After that grimace, if there is a reaction by the child 
after the stimulation so there is a no reaction it will be the zero some reactions such as flowing will be one and if the child is crying or sneezing it means the score will be the two for grimness of activity select will be zero slight flexation of the limbs if there is a slight flexion of the limb the upgar score for the activity will be the one if there is a limb movement the upgar score will be two for activity respiration if the respiration is nothing then zero will be the upgar score for respiration and if it's if the respiration is present but it's irregular then apgar score will be the one for respiration so if the child is normal crying sound so the respiration the apgar score for respiration will be two so severe asphyxia if if so we will notice from the here that so as there is a greater the apgar score the normal will be the child the normal will be the child if the upgar score is less the child will be in danger or will be in asphyxia so so for example if a child present with her, whose whole body is red the upgar score for appearance will be the 2 after that the pulse rate of the baby is greater than 100 so the upgar score for pulse will be Two. After that, the grimace. If the child is crying and sneezing, the upgar score will be two. And for activity, if the limb is movement, if there is a limb movement, or there is a slight flexion of the limb, what if there is a slight flexion of the limb, the upgar score will be plus one. And for respiration, if there is a yes, if there is a respiration present but regular, so the upgar score will be the will be the one so 2 4 6 7 8 so what is our apgar score our apgar score will be the 8 for the child so severe asphyxia if the apgar score is between 3 0 to 3 points mild asphyxia if it is 7 4 to 7 points and normal if it's 8 to 10 points what normal if 8 to 10 points so here we have determined that's 8 so it means the child is normal so the score at school will be measured after 1 minute 5 minute and 10 minutes after the birth if the baby need resuscitation it is still need to be scored within 15 to 20 minutes if you are resuscitating the baby if the baby in need of resuscitation so we will score after 15 to 20 minutes so what will be the uh, the damage what damage will be caused by the asphyxia so asphyxia can cause multi organ damage due to as due to asphyxia multiple organs of the body may have dysfunction or organ damage so asphyxia will cause what it will it will cause dysfunction and organ damage what it will cause a dysfunction and the organ damage such as hypoxic brain injury such as hypoxic brain injury so due to asphyxia there will be the less oxygen concentration so hypoxia so it will be the hypoxic brain injury or can also be a myocardial damage 